Hey guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a while. Uh, new filming setup. New hair, slightly. I don't know if it's necessarily picking up on camera that much. I have a little bit of blonde, like light brown. It's light brown, let's face it, but it's bleach. That's all that matters. A little bit of brownie blondiness going through my hair. And I've got a tan, a real one, because it has been so sunny in the UK. My back is peeling but you can't see that bit, so it's fine. Uh, but yeah, this is the first time I filmed in, I wanna say like almost a month. I think this is probably the longest I haven't filmed in so long. So hopefully I know how to do it. I mean, I know how to talk, definitely know how to do that. Oh God, uh, the last uh, month or so has been a little bit wild. It, actually it hasn't been, it's been incredibly boring, but like mentally a little bit wild. There's been a lot going on, everyone's fine, everything is all good now. But yeah, I intended to film in this setup for almost a month now and just so many different things have been happening, but I don't need to bore you guys with that. We're here. I hope you guys like the new setup, like I've kept it. Pretty simple. There's a little more going on now compared to the last one, but it's a little bit more like less professional because I don't know if you've met me. If you haven't, <laughs> the handshake, you all know the handshake, it's coming. Hello. Uh, if you haven't met me, I am not the, um, the most professional person in the world. And so the, the whole like professional setup, background, everything like that, just kind of done with it. I think we all were. So hopefully you guys like the new backdrop. Obviously things will change. Like once we review the footage and everything like that, I might look at it and go, this needs to change. This lighting isn't right. I've also lowered the lights a little bit because I know some people have said before that the lights were a little bit intense. So the lights, I mean, my face is hella shiny right now because I'm sweaty. Like you, you don't even need to know this, but the boob sweat right now is so real. Uh, but what was I talking about before I started talking about my boobs? But yeah, hello, uh, how have you guys been doing? I feel like we have so much to catch up on, so I'll definitely be down in the comments later on once this video is posted. Um, yeah, let's do some makeup. So in today's video, as I'm sure you guys have already read in the title, we are trying out Beauty Pie makeup. I have a, this just looks like an empty bag. There's stuff in here, I promise, there it is. I have a ton of stuff from Beauty Pie. If you guys don't know about Beauty Pie, I reviewed them years ago, it's been a really, really long time, but basically it's like a subscription service. So essentially you pay some money and then you get benefits where you can essentially get high-end products for way cheaper. So there might be like a foundation that's technically worth like 40 quid and you can get it for like nine pounds or something. So it kind of works like that. And they don't say it's like dupes of other products but they definitely do dupes of other products. Like I've seen like Charlotte Tilbury dupes. I've seen Giorgio Armani dupes. Like they're great skin foundation. It is great. And I'm not gonna be reviewing it today because I've tried it multiple times, but I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a dupe of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, which I love, but I actually prefer the Beauty Pie one and it's way more affordable. So it's kind of like that sort of situation. If you guys don't know about it, I'll leave a link to them down below like I always do. But yeah, I have a lot of stuff to try out. Like there is a lot of products that I need to chuck on my face today. I already feel like this intro is really, really long. This video is probably gonna be just as long as all my other ones usually were. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna chuck it on my face today. Don't know what that was. I'm just really, really excited to film. Okay, I'm also joined by Michael today. I don't know if you guys can see. No, you definitely can't see, but he's here and he's being very good right now. So if you see like cat hairs flailing around again, like the backdrop has changed the cat hairs and my chaotic self has not. But yeah, Michael is very happy that I'm back to filming. He always used to love it when I was filming in the other room. And as soon as I turned on the lights, he was like, I know what we're doing. So he's just chilling there. I'm choking on his hairs because he's like shedding. Oh, but you're very beautiful. Just some makeup. Honestly, right now I feel like I'm just like catching up with old friends. You know, when you haven't seen someone in such a long time and you're just like bleh, word vomit, just like updating them on your entire life. Uh, I could honestly talk for England as you guys know. So um, I'm just gonna get started with the makeup. Got the headband ready. You really think I was gonna just not put on a headband? <laughs> no. Okay. Oh God, I'm so excited, this is so weird. By the way, can we please appreciate the paneling here? I did it myself. The first time I did it, it all did like come crashing down and fall on me, but. So the first product that I'm gonna go in with today is the Wonder Filter Velvet Finish Primer. And I swear there is a brand that does something like this. Again, like I've been out of the loop for a little while. I have so many new products that I wanna try out, but I swear there's a product like this on the market. And I, I, I'm pretty sure everything has cost under like 15 pounds, like well under 15 pounds. I'll put the prices on screen like I normally do. But yeah, first of all, I'm going in with the Velvet Finish Primer. So the packaging is pretty simple. It just kind of just looks like this. 
doesn't have a scent. Oh my God. Okay, so it's like, I don't really know what it's like to be honest. Kind of feels like putty-ish, moisturizer-ish. I don't know, but I'm gonna pop some of that on my skin. And honestly, I cannot get over how tanned my face is right now. I've literally spent the last few days just like editing different bits and pieces, doing some admin bits and pieces, playing June's Journey. <laughs> If you guys have June's Journey, I used to play it years ago and I downloaded it again the other day because I saw someone post about it and yeah, obsessed with it. Freaking obsessed with it. So I've been outside playing that. Definitely just blended a cat hair into my face then, but start as we mean to go on, I guess. So this makes my skin feel very professionally. So very like silicony, but also hydrated. Like it's given my skin a nice little bit of a shine. I put moisturizer on ages ago, and like I said, I have been sweating, and it's not like pilling up on my skin or anything like that, so that feels pretty good. It feels very smoothing. Um, I mean, it does just feel like velvet, like it says on the tin. So yeah, so far so good with that. So now for my base, I'm gonna move on to this product here. I haven't tried this out yet. It's a Sheer Tinted Oil-Free SPF 20. So I'm kind of thinking this is gonna be like a Laura Mercier kind of situation. So yeah, it comes in a squeezy tube and even the coloring is very like Laura Mercier, but I got this in the shade light medium. Hopefully it'll still suit me because I got this before the sun decided to come out. And of course, did you really think I would forget about this? We've still got the macro. We've still got it. So let's pop some of that on my hand here. So this is the color of light medium and it's a little bit grubby, but I have recently started using the Coca Cosmetics by Chloe Sponge. Uh, tried it out for the first time on my TikTok. I have now started posting on TikTok properly again, so make sure you check me out down below. But yeah, get the hype with this completely. So I'm gonna pop some of this on with my sponge. My skin is thriving at the moment. So I'm kind of loving the whole like zero coverage situation. Where's my ugly ass mirror? There you are. Still haven't had chance to get a new mirror yet. It's still covered in, I could have at least cleaned it, but I didn't. But let's have a look at this. I mean, it's giving me a little bit of coverage as you can probably see if we compare the two sides of my face here. Yeah, it's giving me a nice little amount of coverage. I mean, it's, it's sheer, so it, it's gonna be. But it has covered up just like a little bit of my redness, sunburn, uh, on my cheeks. I'll leave a link to the sponge down below as well because yeah, it's really, really good. And Chloe is so nice as well. We've spoken a couple of times on Instagram. She's a babe. But yeah, this sponge, fully get the hype. It's like, it's just so big. It just like covers my entire face. It's like, boom, done, okay. Oh, this is lovely. This is looking really nice on my skin. This is doing like exactly what I want. Like my skin was looking pretty good anyway. This has just like leveled it up even more. It's evened it out. It's still feeling pretty hydrated. It's going on really, really nicely with the primer. Two thumbs up. This is great. I'm so excited to be back filming. So now we're moving on to concealer. So this is called the Everyday Great Skin Concealer. And I got this. They never, like, it doesn't, it's not very obvious but what color I've got it in. Uh, beige, still a beige kind of gal. Doesn't really say about what this does too much, but it says Everyday Great Skin. So here's hoping. Do a bit under here, a little bit here, around my nose, and I like to lift my mouth a little bit. Tiny little bit of scarring here, and I'm gonna go over my lid for a second. I do have a kind of eye primer, I'll show you in a second, that I wanna try it in a bit, uh, but I do just wanna blank out my lids because otherwise it just weirds me out and I feel like I just look, I don't know, weird. But yeah, let's blend this out now. See if we can get rid of the redness around my nose. I sat in the sun the other day. Don't know why I did this, but I couldn't book in with my friend Soph, because she's on holiday, <laughs> jealous, um, to wax my nostrils. And so I just, I was plucking my eyebrows in the sun because I, when I say I've just been living outside, I pretty much have been. And I just started plucking my nose hairs. I plucked a couple, because I was like, oh, I should get a couple of those. Like, no big deal. But then I did all of them. I was like fully like twisting my nostrils out and just like getting every single hair. Like there's nothing, there's nothing. And, but yeah, it did, it did irritate my nose a little bit, which, uh, you know, can't blame it. 
I love that I say I've got so much to update you on and so far I've updated you on my sweaty boobs um, and my nostril hair. Yeah, that's pretty much about all that's happened to be honest. You can still see a little bit of shadowing. It might just be the light to be honest, but I mean, it's covered everything up as much as I want it to. I think with the sheer base, if I then had this super full coverage under eye, it would maybe look a little bit weird, but you can see the difference here. Yeah, you can really see the difference on the macro actually. Cover up that little scar there. And yeah, it blends out really, really easy as you can see. But yeah, how have you guys been doing? Let me know, like, what has happened in your life in however long? Just what, what's been going on with you? How are you feeling? How are you doing? How's your summer going if you're in the UK? How's your life going in general? I missed you. I actually really, really did. It's weird, isn't it? It's like I'm just talking to a camera right now, but I missed you. Anyway, so far so good. So now, you know what I've actually started doing is I've actually started putting setting spray like in between certain stages of my makeup. So now I'm gonna go in with the Fresh Glow Breathable Setting Spray. And I'm doing that because I have a cream blush to put on in a second. So I like to just dampen down my skin a little bit. So it's the packaging. It's all very nice packaging. It's like very simple, but it's still just nice to look at. Oh, do you hear him there and he sneezed? Are you okay? You sneeze on your own fur. Right, Michael, I'll try not to spray this near you. So this has got a slight kind of like florally perfumey scent. Sorry, you might not like this. I'll try and do it far away from you as I can. Sorry, I'm trying to keep it away from Michael because he won't like the smell. Is it okay? Michael's reviewing it for you right now. Not too bad. Okay, that sprays really, really lightly, which is nice. So now I'm gonna go in with the Super Cheek Cream Blush. This one, if you give me like an hour to figure out what it's called. Uh, this is in the shade Universal Pink. Oh, it kind of reminds me of like the Trini London sort of pots. This reminds me a lot of the Trini London ones. Okay, I'm actually gonna take my sponge and just get like the rounded edge there and apply it using that. Just use a little bit first. Oh, what is this crumb on my face? A little snack. So if you guys see there, I'm actually gonna put it pretty much where I've been sunburnt anyway. Oh, he's up. Oh, a slight view of the nub there. So I'm basically just gonna put that all over my nose. I'm still not like the biggest diehard blusher fan, but I'm getting there, okay? That is very, very sheer. I'll get this. Michael, you are shedding everywhere. I'm gonna swatch it. It's like super pigmented when you actually use your finger. Like, look at that. But it blends out like an absolute dream, to be honest. That actually blends out so, so nicely. I thought it was just blending out nicely because of the sponge, but I don't have any like moisturizer, primer, setting spray, anything like that on my hand, and it just blended out. So if you're into cream blushes, that's actually a good shout. Oh, Michael, why are you getting your fur everywhere? Next up, I just wanna give a quick shout out to these here. I don't think I featured them on my channel before. These are so, so similar to the iconic London drops. Uh, these are just in the shade Illuminati and then the Pro Glow Strobing Drops. I'll show you guys on my shoulders. Let's go there. And I think I'll blend that out with a brush quickly. It's use this Cash Beauty one. But these are like intense. Look at that, it's literally like, Silver, almost, but it's like nothing's there. Boom, boom. But yeah, these are really, really nice. I had these ages ago, they were in a slightly different packaging. But yeah, I just picked up another bottle because I did a full declutter of my makeup. If you guys haven't already seen, I have picked up my makeup decluttering series again, and I think there's like five videos to post. So stay tuned for that. I got rid of a lot. But yeah, I picked up another one of these and they're honestly so nice. My skin's a little bit dry on my shoulders, but it's just stunning. So I'm not gonna use that on my face today because I know I love it and I do have something else to try out. But before I do that, I am gonna set my face a little bit with the Super Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I'm very excited about this. I tried out their One Powder Wonder, which they launched like literally years and years and years ago. And from what I remember, it is quite nice, but you know me, I love a loose powder over like everything else. Never really been much of a fan of pressed powders, but a loose one is like where I'm at and I'm hoping this is good. I feel like Beauty Pie do so many good products. This literally sounds like an ad, I promise you it isn't. I'm just a big fan of Beauty Pie, but they do so many good products that I feel like they could really nail a loose powder. So it's got a little 
sifter here and I got this in the shade see-through. Oh, I like the lid. I don't know if you can see that there, but it dips in here so you're not gonna get your powder all over the place when you open it up again. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this and just tap off the excess and set my under eyes first. I'm not gonna use too much powder today because obviously it's, it's quite a lightweight makeup look so I don't want it to look too matte or anything. Screw it down, these parts of my face here. Wait, that's actually... I don't know if it's just the fact that I haven't worn makeup in a long time. So maybe this crumb on my face that keeps coming back. That looks flawless. Like actually flawless though. Not just like, oh, you know, with some creases, like, no, this looks bloody good. And I'm just gonna dust that ever so lightly over my skin. I'm not really putting it on my cheeks too much. I like tapped very, very lightly then because I do wanna try out a potential Charlotte Tilbury dupe in a second. Okay, I'm glad I didn't put too much all over my face because I feel like this could look quite heavy, which I don't mean that necessarily in a bad way, but I mean, I think it could be quite matte, but a very, very light dusting has just sort of set everything in place. But the under eyes, oh my God, it's so good on the under eyes. So let's put a little bit more down the center there. That's looking pretty good. Oof. So yeah, the next product I have is this luminizing wand. It's called the Triple Beauty Luminizing Wand. And I think it comes in just one shade. Again, it's not very obvious. Like that's the one down for us. It's not very obvious. Um, I think it just comes in one shade. This packaging, can we all agree here? This is Charlotte Tilbury. It may as well be Charlotte Tilbury. And I tried out the contour one that looked very, very similar to this. It was just all black from like years ago again. And I love it. It's like, it's way too old, but I have still kept it. Like spoiler alert with the declutter. Uh, I did still keep it because it's so, so good. I love the Charlotte Tilbury version of this. So I'm very, very curious about what this is gonna be like. So you just twist it and let's give it a squeeze together. Don't be shy. There it is, okay. Wait, that wasn't even in focus. Oh God, bad YouTuber alert. There you go. So it just soaks the cushion there. And I'm gonna pop some of that on my cheeks here. Very pretty. And blend that out with my sponge again. Oh my God. Oh my God, I miss this feeling. Discovering a new highlighter and just being like, ah, that has not left any kind of cast, any kind of texture anything at all on my skin. That's amazing. The color's nice, it literally does just look. It's almost like sheer, to be honest, like it just gives me a nice shine to the skin. But you can see that's the kind of color it is, but then when you blend it out, even on my crusty dusty little hand, it just hits the light perfectly. Try this, just try it, all right? I'm telling you, I'm not saying, if you want to, you should try it, like if, if it's something you want. No, just try it, because it's, Bloody stunning. Okay, next I'm gonna chuck a little bit of gel through my brows. This is the Archology Eyebrow Sculpting Gel and I'm pretty sure I got it in clear. They do like a bunch of different colors and stuff, but my eyebrows, I don't really do too much of them these days. I just gel them up a little bit and that's about it. Yeah, I went for clear, thank God. Yeah, it just looks like this. So you've just got this little spoolie here and I'm gonna brush my eyebrows up with that brushing them up first, get a little bit of like a werewolf action going on. I literally need Tangle Teaser to come out with like a Tangle Teaser eyebrow brush because they're ridiculous. Brush them up and then brush them to the side a little bit. <gasps> Lost an eyebrow hair, how will I cope? Michael, you can have that if you want. I'm gonna put that on your leg. He didn't even flinch. So again, let's go in with this brow. I feel like it's taking me a second to really work the um, spoolie through my brow. There goes another eyebrow hair. What's happening here? But then again, my eyebrows are like wire. They're like literal pubes on my forehead, to be honest. I don't know if this is giving me enough like stick to my brows because I literally need like scaffolding to hold up some of my hairs. We all know my brow hairs, they just, they get a little bit sad sometimes and they just fall into like this fringe situation. So I'm gonna keep just like molding them a little bit just to see if I can stick them in place a bit. 
Next, I'm gonna very, very briefly talk about this palette here. So this is one of the palettes that I said is basically like Charlotte Tilbury. Like, can we just, <laughs> this is Charlotte Tilbury, okay? This may as well be it. Uh, but this has a bronzer, blusher, highlighter, and then three eyeshadow shades here. I have tried out this palette multiple times. I actually have like the older packaging for this. This is the newer packaging, so I've only used this one a couple of times, but I wanna use this for the bronzer. But yeah, I won't dwell on this palette too much because this is really, really nice. It's such a good, just like, day-to-day -day palette, you kind of have like a little bit of everything there. What I like to do is use the bronzer in my crease for eyeshadow as well, and you can get a much more sort of like smoky eye look from this as well. Yeah, so this one right now isn't showing up too much on my skin. It's giving me a little bit of definition, um, but because I'm just so tanned now, for me anyway, um, it's not actually showing up too much. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit more than I would normally. At the end of this, I might add a bit more of like a deeper bronzer. We'll sort of see how we go. Yeah, you can't really tell too much, but this is a really, really nice palette. I'll give you a swatch of the highlighter and this shadow here. So I've got the eyeshadow there and then the highlighter underneath. So you can see they're really, really pigmented and just very nice. And I think these retail for around about like 13 pounds or something. This is one of the more expensive makeup products, but really, really good. And they do a couple of different colors as well. I'm now gonna try out another blusher. DJ Khaled's like in the background there, just like screaming at me. This is the Silky Weightless Deluxe Cheek Color. This is the powder one. And this is in the shade Plumminess. So it just looks like this. Cute little packaging there. So it's a very, 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 very finely milled powder. This reminds me a lot of the One Powder Wonder powder that I mentioned before, the little like pressed one. And I'm just gonna do a light sweeping of that on my cheeks, because I don't know how intense it is. Okay, we, we can go more heavy handed than that. It's not picking up too much. Maybe I just need to like break the first layer, but you've got a little teeny tiny mirror in there as well. And it looks to me like it's got a bit of like a pearl pigment to it, which is making me even more shiny, which you know I love. Nice! This one is quite subtle. It's a lot more subtle than the other one, but I'm sure you could probably take like a denser brush, and if you really, really swatch it, then it is more intense, but for me, that's what I like. So now I am very excited about this. So excited about this. I feel like this is sold out all the time. It's the Pro Glow Highlighter, and this has some fancy shiny packaging. So it looks like this. It's got like a cross-hatched kind of pan there. Mmm, this is way more, oh my god. So that one down here is the highlighter from the like palette. That is from the Pro Glow. And it's like, this is super metallic. This one's like shimmery, slight bit of metallic there. But this one here, as you can see, is just like, I have just dunked myself in gold and I love it. And I have cat hair in my mouth. Oh, it's a good job you're cute. He's doing that thing where like, I don't know if anyone else's cat does this, but Michael will be like half asleep. And if I just like touch him, or whisper to him, hi. He just goes, and he just can't do that. But yeah, let's go in with some of this. So I'm taking my Morphe M501 brush, and we're already looking pretty shiny, but not shiny enough. Taking a very, very small amount and just focusing it on the top here. <laughs> I feel like that meme. Like, hello? I've got to turn my face here so you guys can see. Hello. I'm gonna like handshake my own cheek right now. That's madness. Look at the way that picks up the light. And again, it's not textured or anything at all. And my skin from being like a little bit tanned slash burnt, it is a little bit drier than normal, but there is no texture. Let's go down the nose. Stunning. I feel like I'm just like bathing in gold right now. Big fan of that. Oh, Michael's off. Okay, time to let him out before he screams at me. You can't squeeze, it. stop trying to squeeze through that gap. Look, let me open the door first. He was like trying to squeeze his head through this tiny little gap as I was opening it. Oh, and I'm back. I think I maybe burnt my bum cheeks a little bit. Sitting down, I'm like, oh, okay. Or I have piles, who knows? I don't have piles. Shout out to you if you have piles. I'm gonna do a little bit on my inner corner as well. I'm then gonna go back in with that Fresh Glow spray just to add a little bit more juiciness to my skin. It is quite perfumed. I 
quite like it, don't mind it, but just a heads up. So now, like I said, I don't have an eye primer, but I do have one of these shadow sticks and I've used this sort of thing before for eye primer. Sigma do one, uh, Laura Mercier do them. I'm guessing this is like a dupe for the Laura Mercier ones again and Vive do them as well. By the way, can we talk about Vive for a minute? Vive, like by Jamie Genevieve, it's like taken over. I need to try out some more of their recent launches. They're launching a concealer. I'm all over that. But yeah, this is what the Beauty Power one looks like and it does look very, very similar to a Laura Mercier one. And I just got this in the shade Vanilla Whirl. And yeah, I'm pretty sure it is just like a matte, creamy sort of shade there. So I'm gonna pop that all over my lids because I find that these sort of things do tend to work quite well as an eyeshadow base. So just run that over like that and then just blend that out. I'm not much of a shadow stick kind of girl, but these are very, very easy to work with. And you know what we're gonna do in this new setup? We're gonna start putting the lids on things before I continue with other products. That's what we're gonna do. So now for the eyeshadow, I have this palette here. It's the Deluxe Eyeshadow Quad in collaboration with James Malloy. And this is in the shade 001. So I think they have like four of these, I wanna say. Packaging is cute. And of course I had to go for something that was like super 90s and smoky and just yum. So I'm gonna take this shade here first and pop that in my crease. And we're just gonna do a standard smoky eye situation. Just blending that in my crease. It's like a nice neutral kind of brown. Oh, I didn't realize, I thought this was a matte, but this is like, oh, delicious. Look at that. Can you see how that is shining there? Yum. I'm now gonna take a larger fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that darker shade there, but also mix it with a touch of that lighter one. And focus that on the outer corner a bit. And I think I'll probably use that as a smoky liner in a second. So I'm just building that up on the outer corner for a minute. Michael wants to come back in again. Oh, hello again. Then I'm gonna go in with this Stunning little shade here. Drag that across my lid. Ooh, and that's on like, not on a wet base either. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this silver and just focus that on the inner corner. That silver is <laughs> intense. So I'm now gonna take a little bit of the liquid eyeliner and I just got this in black, I think. Yeah, it's called Black Cat, named after Pepe. So it just looks like this, and it's got a standard felt tip nib. This is a very, very black formula. Okay, it's been a while, but um, why am I nervous? Why am I so nervous right now? <laughs> <sighs> okay, still got it. Now I'm gonna go in with the, it's literally called the Perfect Waterproof Mascara. So it looks like this, nice, goldy packaging and I'll show you guys the wand. The wand doesn't excite me that much, but we'll, we'll see what it looks like. See if it can grab my lashes. I'm gonna focus it mostly on the outer corner to give myself more of like a feline look. Sorry, I'm not picking my nose right now. I promise I just got the really itchy nostril. It's probably those plucked hairs growing back. Okay, the formula is very, very black. I'm not normally the biggest fan of waterproof mascaras. I feel like they're, they almost kind of like go a little bit dry on me, but it's not bad. Not a bad little mascara. It's giving me nice length. It's very, very black in formula. I prefer something that gives me a little bit more thickness around like the, the uh, root of my lash, but it's definitely, it's definitely giving me some length there. Now I'm gonna go in with the Wonder Gel Longwear Lip Liner. This is in the shade Rummy Pink. I've tried one of these out. Again, it was years and years and years ago and they were really nice. The packaging seems to be the same, but I just went for this really nice, kind of like rosy pink. And you can see they are so pigmented. Nice, it's a nice color. So now for my lipstick, I have the Future Lipstick Lux Shine. I've tried out the Future Lipsticks, like the matte ones that they do, and they're also really, really good, but not tried out the Lux Shine ones. And this is in the shade Naked, yeah, Naked Pink. And it's quite a nice, like, complimentary color for the 
liner that I just had. Oh, oh my God, they smell so good. And I'm just gonna tap that on. It is quite shiny, which is to be expected, but I did just wanna try it because, you know, haven't tried it. The formula of the lipstick's nice. I'm not too into the whole like, shiny lipstick situation, that's why I'm blotting it down. But the color's pretty, and yeah, the formula is nice. It's just maybe not for me, but if you're into that sort of thing, it's, um, yeah, it's pigmented. You could literally see like how glossy and shiny it is. So now, I think that's pretty much all the products. Uh, I am going to do the other eye. I might even put in contacts. I know some people have like their thoughts about the contacts and stuff, but I just bought some new um, Solotica, oh, why well, do I want to call them opal then? They're like the ochre ones. I do have a discount code, by the way. If you guys want to check it out, like I know I get questions about my contacts and stuff. I'll leave a link to it down below. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to pop on some contacts and I don't think I'll put on some lashes just so we can like see what the mascara looks like and everything. But yeah, I'm going to go off camera, other eye, contacts, sort my hair out a little bit, and then I'll show you guys the finished look. All right guys, so this is the finished look. Obviously I popped in my contacts as well. I drew a couple of fake freckles on just because I'm loving it. What else did I do? Uh, brushed up my brows a little bit more as well because I'm not overly keen on that brow gel. It just didn't really do too much to me. Honestly, this is the most me that I have physically felt in a while. Like, it's so weird just because of how I've been feeling and like not wearing makeup, not filming, not doing anything to my hair, anything like that. Yeah, like with the contacts and everything, I'm like, okay, this is Steph like 3.0. Okay, like silver haired Steph was Steph 1.0, dark haired Steph 2.0, a little bit of bleach, contacts again, 3.0. We're back, baby. Honestly, like it's it's so weird just to see myself with makeup again, but I love it. Uh, okay, so I loved a lot of the products today. I think it's probably easier to say what I maybe didn't like. The products that I wasn't 100% keen on was the, my brain just went completely dead, was the brow gel. Just wasn't that much shout about. And the liner, I do like the liner, it's very, very black, but the type of tip it is, I feel like it's gonna get clogged quite easy because there were a few times when I was like going over my lid with the eyeshadow and stuff that it was skipping a little bit. So it wasn't as precise as I'd maybe like. The mascara was nice. I wouldn't say it's like the best mascara ever. The Uber volume one, I remember being pretty good. So those are probably my three like least favorite products, but otherwise, honestly, I kind of loved everything else, like I love the highlighter, the skin tint was nice, primer, powder, like there were so many good products. Um, yeah, just it feels good just to have makeup on again, oh my God. I'm not gonna be doing a check-in today purely because it is a little bit later on in the day today because it was so hot, I just could not bear to film at like peak sun time. But I will make sure to wear the skin tint tomorrow and the concealer and everything. And I'll also wear the powder. So I'll do a different makeup, but I'll wear the foundation, primer, concealer and powder all together and let you guys know how they all wore down below. It just feels bloody good to be back, to be honest. Uh, I was literally like worried that I I was never gonna wanna film again or I, I, I don't know, my head's just been all over the place, but yeah. Feels really good to be here. The new setup, new-ish hair. It's 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 different enough for me, all right? Like I've had like long dark hair for so long now that this is like, okay, I welcome any change. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna leave it here for today's video. I missed ya, I really, really did. I missed filming videos, I missed playing with makeup. Let me know what other brands, products, literally anything you guys want me to do because I really, really do feel like I've got my filming mojo back. And like I said, I'm on TikTok, I'm back to posting on Instagram again. I'm just back in general, to be honest. My mind is just, I'm back. And also, it should be live by now. But we've got a new little bit of rebranding on the channel. Go check it out if you fancy it. Like literally just switching everything up now. I hope you guys like the new backdrop. Like I said, like if there is anything you guys think I should change, let me know because there will be a few little tweaks as we sort of, you know, get used to this new setting. But yeah, I missed you. Happy to be back. And as always, all the products that I use today will be linked down below alongside the contacts with that discount code. And then also the sponge by Coco by Chloe. I'm now gonna leave it here and I'm, I'm probably gonna go and play June's Journey. I might take a selfie first because like, like I said, I need to document the fact that I'm actually wearing makeup for the first time in ages. But uh, yeah, June's journey is definitely on the cards today. And like I said, if you have it, please let me know. Like, I don't know if there's like a username or something that I can like type in. I need some friends on there. I need people to give me bushes. 
If you have no idea what I'm talking about, just, just don't worry. But um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, oh my God, it's been so long since I said this. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. I haven't been, but I am from now on, okay? But yeah, also if you guys do wanna see more videos from me, then make sure you turn on notifications down below by clicking the bell. Check me out on TikTok, Instagram, whatever. Everything will be down below. Uh, but yeah, I missed you. I feel like I've said that so many times, uh, but I really, really did. Anyway, it's been so long since I did this. Uh, apart from that, that is it from me. I love ya and I missed ya and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, okay.